Sub shooters, my name is Logan, aka Spiderhands, and welcome to SP Tutorials, where today we're going to be starting a new series that I'm hoping to stick with, and this is going to be helping people such as yourself watching this how to get into music production. If you've ever wanted to record or produce your own music or mix or master stuff, this is my little series and how I would go about attempting that. So if we switch over to here, we start humbly on a Google page. You can also use whatever browser you want to. This first video is about installing a digital audio workstation titled Reaper, which is software. It's a program that will allow you to record, produce, mix, and master music. And so if we go here, we just, we just Google Reaper. You can see here, uh, Reaper Audio Production Without Limits. This is the one we want. There's lots of different digital audio workstations but Reaper is my favorite, and I'll go into the reasons for that as we go along. Um, when you click on the link, it just comes up with this here. You can see this is Reaper. It, it, there's a lot going on this image. Obviously, I'm not gonna throw all that at you at once. This is, in my opinion, some of the most affordable digital audio workstation that I've ever come across. If we go to download Reaper, you can just download and use it for free. There's no limit on the trial. Um, you'd probably wanna consider purchasing a, a discounted license if you are an individual business exceeding 20, not exceeding 20K revenues per year, or if you're an educational nonprofit organization, because obviously like, you know, that's the cheaper one, but obviously if you wanted to go into the big leagues, you go for the commercial license for 225, which in my opinion, or at least factually is cheaper than a lot of the other options that are out there. You know, like I've looked into stuff like, um, you know, Fruity Loops, Cubase, Pro Tools. Not sure about Logic, and I know GarageBand comes with Apple's and, and, and Mac computers. But but this is more affordable, in my opinion, than the majority of the other options in regards to audio softwares that you can have at the moment. Obviously, outside of the, like the Audacity, for example, and I feel like this is a little bit of a step up from Audacity. But yeah, basically, we're just gonna download Reaper now, and we're gonna install it. I'm gonna show you how to do that. Nice and easy, super quick. You just press this download link. And if you go back to the main page, you can just go through the download of Reaper via that button. So we've downloaded it. We'll just open it up here. I agree. Just install it into the uh, folder of your choice, preferably the program files if you're using Windows. I should note as well that Reaper works on both Windows PCs and Apple uh, Macs as well. So it works on both platforms. You can also see here, there's also Linux. So it works on Windows, Mac, OS, and Linux, which is awesome. We'll just go back to where we were before, and we'll continue through this. Yep, and it gives us a quick, make sure we're okay with installing it. Uh, if you're wanting to record the stuff you do in Reaper via OBS or another software, you probably want to click this little plus icon here and click the reroute, uh, reroute SEO driver just so that you can... Um, just so that it goes into OBS correctly. And it'll just extract and install the file for you and you're basically good to go. And it asks if you want to install it, you click yes and you're basically fine. That's it sorted. No more, no more games that you need to play. Basically at the moment it's loading up a session I've been working on. Um, sometimes it can take a little while because it's having to load every single plugin that you've put on a, on a session. And for me, often that can be quite a lot of um, often quite a lot of plugins, you know, not necessarily on. I don't want to get too much into the jargon, by the way. I know this, this talking about plugins and stuff like that might not make a lot of sense at the moment, but hopefully at least at the very least at this point in time, you understand how to install this um, software and, and it makes sense. I should note as well that because I've bought because I've bought a license, I've paid money for Reaper. I don't have a little pop up that comes up when I um, start the program that tells me that I'm using it as a trial and that I need to buy a license or something like that. Technically, you could just keep using Reaper for free forever if you wanted to. Part of that is because I think the people that made Reaper made Winamp. So they're like super duper duper loaded. Winamp was a software from a while ago. And uh, yeah, they got a lot of money out of that. So they're not as paranoid as other companies might be about you paying for that license, you know. But I would recommend just, just for, to support the people I've just said they're super rich, so you know what I mean. Just if you just try and be honest about it, you know. If you if you if you're making them money dollars, maybe worth buying a license. Um, at the very least, if you get annoyed by that pop up that starts at the when you ever you open up the program, you probably want to buy that sixty dollar USD license, which I think is about eighty to ninety dollars um, NZD. I'm just gonna go through like the rough idea of what everything is. So these down here are each of the different instruments 
in the session I have. So you can see there's a total of like, um, is it, this, some of these aren't labeled, which is great. <laughs> I'll make these ukulele L, cause I think that was a ukulele track I put in there. And then you got ukulele R. Um, if it's looking a bit gray, don't worry. You can color them. You can add track colors. You can make them random colors. So it's a lot prettier now, you know? Um, you can also make them like a, a you know, by, and I, I'll go through how I'm doing this in a minute, but. You can make them like a green color or like an orange color and then they're all basically orange you know there's a lot of um malleability and, and functionality within this that i will we'll go through as we go along i'm not going to throw everything at you today but just it's a cool piece of software and your version that you have might not look exactly like this because i'm using a theme on mine which is a custom sort of design for it but it will look almost 95 percent the same way you should have these down here which are the different instruments and they relate directly to that. You have this guy over here, which is master, um, which is like the volume of everything. So it's the sum volume of all the different channels that you've got here. Um, these little boxes are the different sort of waveforms or sound bits. So for example, this is some rhythm guitar stuff I recorded. Um, these are some clean guitars I recorded. Part of why I don't wanna play the audio for this is because this is actually a song I'm yet to release publicly. Um, so I don't want to sort of like play too much of that now, but you can see there, are, we've got little, some of them are waveforms and some of them are little squares. And the little squares are the little lines. If I double click, you can see there's quite a lot of squares here. And that's actually because of the fact that I've um, got, that, that's MIDI information, which I played using a piano. Because uh, MIDI is like uh, a, an instrument's way of communicating with a computer. And you can press the record button, the Reaper, and you can play in a MIDI keyboard and it will remember the notes that you played and it will store it inside the software like this. Um, so I recorded audio, like the sound of the actual instruments, like through like a guitar plug or whatever for the wavy bits, like these kind of spiky bits. And then here you, I used a MIDI keyboard for other bits. There's a lot to go over, but effectively this is all I wanted to do right now. And of course you've got the, the toolbar up here with lots of different options, but, and then these here, of course, are different things you can mess around with. There's a lot of buttons, but just don't feel overwhelmed yet. <laughs> We're gonna go through each of these little bits in detail and we also need to talk about a few things before we go any further, including the pieces of hardware that you need in order to be able to use the software to its full potential. Um, as well as um, you don't just use MIDI information and you don't have to necessarily record everything. You can use things called samples, which are pre-recorded melodies or harmonies or just sounds of things. There's a lot of fun we're gonna have, but this is the first video anyways. Thank you very much for watching this video about installing Reaper and the very brief overview of what the different things are. And um, we'll go into more detail on the next video. We'll go through the stuff you need in order to be able to do music production with Reaper, but stay cool and stay safe. And please also remember what your local musicians are at this point in time. As either help more than ever with all the crazy stuff going on in the world. And I'll catch you in the next SP tutorials. Spot hands up. And remember to ask if you got questions, feel free to link them in the, the comment section, all right? Spot hands up.